the strongest solo bunker base in Rust, featuring a simple yet effective compound, a mini- Meet Jeff. Jeff is your average PvP chat, or just a guy that really ain't into building all those complicated base designs. And one day, Jeff decides to hit up YouTube for a simple 2x1 base design. And he finds the best triple bunker, white gapped, pixel gap, 2x1 base design. Nah, f*** that. So after a long day of snowballing, he just builds his normal 2x1. And the next day, he wakes up raided. Well, that was kind of expected. He was like, do you see 4 to raid? I'm just saying. So that's where I come to play, because today I'm showing you how to build the simplest 2x1 expansion out there. Like, actually, there's no expansion that is easier to build than this one. And although it's that easy, it can tank a fair amount of explosives and has a decent shooting floor to defend online raids, if they ever happen. Don't believe me? Just ask Jeff. It's the best design I've ever built, trust me, it's so good. Now please release my family. He f loves it! So after this quick base tour, I'd say we start off with the build tutorial. So the start of your base is just a normal 2x1 of course, and while he's building this great 2x1 I just want to remind you that you can easily support me by slapping that subscribe button, it's completely free. Now for the first expansion we're just gonna be building the simplest jump up that you can imagine, just add 2 triangles, some furnaces as a jump up and just jump up. And of course, slap down garage doors everywhere where it's possible. On the opposite side, you're going to be building basically the exact same, but just as a jump down and not a jump up. And now on both sides, the rest can just be sealed off as normal honeycomb. And just close your base off. Apart from this triangle here, because you're going to be placing a simple jump up to enter your roof. Now you can add quite some furnaces in the space because literally every jump up can also be replaced with three furnaces. Now in here you can just do the normal interior design of your 2x1. You can do it how you want to, but I like to do it exactly like this as you can see in the video right now. This of course includes your main loot room with the boxes, two sleeping bags, three furnaces and a workbench level 2.
Now over here you can add another whole loot room with another 4 large boxes and like 6 small ones. And it's very simple to do, you just follow this exact tutorial. And now in here, I also like to add another locker and a bed for quick respawns. When you are out in a PvP fight, you have to get back quickly or in an online raid defense. This bed is pretty difficult to place because you still have to be able to go up and down on your both jump ups. But just try it out and place the bed until it fits. Now if you want to, you can add another shell for some more box storage over here. Go ahead and add a little bit of honeycomb. Now let's move on with the shooting floor. The first step is placing some triangles just like this. These are going to be some simple peaks with a door later. And of course add windows with some embrasures later all around the shooting floor. And now place 4 doorways with a few doors as the peaks. The Matrix has attacked me. Now your base is pretty much finished. This is not necessary but you can add a ladder hatch onto your top roof and add a few roofs for some more peak downs and some more defendability on your base. Now upgrade your main core to HQM and all of the rest of the base to metal and your base is complete. So if you have enjoyed then please make sure to subscribe or Jeff gets it. I'm, I'm going to do bad things to Jeff. So like, subscribe and see you next time.